We are doing my biggest Lululemon haul yet. It's 16 items, $2,000. Some of the stuff is on sale now, so I'll point it out the items that did move to sale for their Black Friday. So if you can snag them on sale, lucky you. There's a lot of good items, new items I've never tried, new colors, and the accessories that I'm gonna show you guys are really, really good. I've never seen Lulu drop these before, so I'm excited to share, and I will be giving one of the bags away if you watch my TikTok, it is there i still need to pick the winner so you still have a chance at the end of the video i will show that bag i'm giving away it's sold out so i'm super excited to be giving it away to one of you what's up guys it's your girl steph back at it again with another youtube video and I cannot thank you guys enough for being here and hanging out today. I'm sharing my love of Lulu and I have a lot of items. So these are the items and beautiful colors I'm trying on today and I'm super excited. Before we get to today's haul guys, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell so you don't miss a video of mine. It means the world to me when you guys support my content and you know, show me some love. We have a lot to get through today so let's go ahead and get into today's video. We're going to start with this pretty belt bag. This is in the color white opal and this is actually a hand warmer belt bag. Like I've never seen anything like it. When I saw it on the website I'm like there's no way that this could possibly be a hand warmer but it actually is very nice on the inside. I feel like it almost needs to be slightly bigger but I don't know it works. I haven't tested it outside yet, but I can see it being nice and warm. I like the grid pattern texture on this. Like this is probably my favorite belt bag look. I don't know if it's my favorite shape, but the color and the look of it, this one's gotta be my favorite. You can adjust the straps to however you need it to fit you. And with this one, you have a back pocket for like quick, easy access for like lip glosses, a little card holder. Um, I don't think my phone, maybe my phone. I don't know if my phone will fit in it. No, my phone doesn't fit unless you have it like this. Or if you have a smaller phone, it might fit. And then you have a pretty big inside. And with the inside, you do have the mesh pockets that most of them always have, and a back zipper. I swear you can never have too many of these. And I used to not buy the light colors because I was afraid of staining them. But then I realized I could just throw these in the washer and they clean up really nice if you use like a stain spray or stuff like that. And they hold up very well. I've never had any issues with the belt bag falling apart, but this one is a, is it a one liter? I don't know, it just says one size, so I'm not sure. 1.5, yeah, normally the bigger ones have like this extra piece here. But I, I feel like this is a really good size. I don't typically grab for my smaller belt bags anymore because I want the extra space, so. This one's a really good size, really pretty. It'll go with every outfit you have, so you don't have to worry about that. It's like you could just get this one belt bag and be one and done, like you don't need 10 different belt bags, you could get it in black, like you could get a staple color and not have to have so many if you didn't want to. Up next is gonna be this Align Tank. This is the Lululemon Align Cross Strap Tank. I bought it in a size six. I haven't tried it on yet, so I'm not sure how it's gonna fit. I have another Deep Lux color shirt in there, and I already tried that one on. I got that one in first, and when I put that color on, it looked so good with my hair, so I instantly ordered another shirt in that same color. But hopefully this one works for me. I am now going to workout classes. I want some more like workout clothes that aren't long sleeve and such like winter stuff because I sweat my butt off in there and I need like more like summery kind of stuff so and then you know when I go outside I just put on like jackets and stuff I got so it works okay I'm not gonna lie this shirt is a little hard to get on and I don't even know if I have it on correctly um in the photo it shows this strap under this one so obviously I don't have it on correctly it's supposed to look like this just so you know. This is the best I can do for now. Definitely hard to get on. I still think I wanna keep it just cause it's a beautiful color. It's in that really nice aligned material. I feel supported, a lot's covered for my workouts. 
I did already rip out the bra pads because they were wrinkled and everything. But a trick to these bra pads is you just like don't have them in that little insert. You just have them against your skin and the fabric. So, and they just, I don't know. I like them a lot better when they're up against my skin. And it's just so much easier than having to deal with like a wrinkled little padding. I got this in a size six. I just love this color. And this thin one is super, super stretchy to where this one's more like fitted. I definitely don't have these going the right way. So we'll pretend, we'll pretend I have this all good, but I, I do really like it. Cute little open keyhole in the back. I decided to try this out for my workouts. This one I picked up for my workout class as well. It does not come with bra pads, but I'll insert the ones against my skin. And I just realized I picked this up in an A and B cup and not the C to D. So this is not my cup size. If I picked up the right one, it would fit better. But honestly, there's pretty good coverage for it not being my cup size. Like I don't feel like I'm gonna spill out. Like it's compressive. I don't know if I'm gonna exchange it yet or not. Like maybe the CD wouldn't hold me in as tight. I'm not really sure. Or maybe there is a little more fabric with that one. But I just love the color. This is that new Riverstone they came out with. I probably will own every piece in this because it is gorgeous. Just a really pretty neutral color. And I feel like I could get away with not doing like heavy cardio, but like a light cardio day. I don't think I'm gonna spill out of it, but it's definitely good for lighter workouts. So you don't have to worry about an arm day, leg day. Like I think you're fine. We just need to take a second for this color because she's gorgeous. I actually have never tried the soft stream hoodie before. I got it in a size six. I do have the pants to this already in this color. So I got it for a cute matching set. And I thought it would be cute even if I tucked it up into my sports bra and wore the matching pants and have like my stomach showing. I thought that would look good. I could see this looking really good with my puffer vest. I talk about all the time. And some of those are on sale. And I don't know how those hit Black Friday, but they did. And they're like very marked down. So if you can snag some vests, they literally go with everything. I actually have one to try on later. So you'll have to let me know items you picked up from Black Friday and like what you thought of the Black Friday because there's always a lot of mixed opinions. Like people said, oh, it was terrible, but I honestly didn't think it was that bad. Like I've seen a lot of good expensive items on there for, you know, pretty good markdowns. Like soft stream items, if you can get these items on sale, oh my gosh, do so because they're pretty pricey. The thing about this fabric is it does look like it stains, but like if you do a little bit of water it's on there all day once you wash it it goes away but it can be a pain and you kind of don't want to wear soft stream when it's raining because you'll have the water droplets literally all over you all day and it will just look stained but I thought this was just a cute little throw on and this pretty espresso color I like this espresso color the most in the soft stream because it looks washed and like vintage I of course always have to pick up soft stream items in this color. And when they drop a new item, I have to try it, of course. I think this fits really good. I don't think there's any way a size four would fit me. I do have the half zip to this that I really like, but honestly, honestly, I don't know what one I would like more. This is the espresso color, not in soft stream, so you can like see the difference. Next, this is the other deep Lex color I got. I got this shirt in a size Six. It's the Swiftly Tech Cropped Long Sleeve 2.0. So it's the um, shorter one. They do have like a race one, I believe, and then like a full length one. I like the two shorter ones. I think my other ones are in a size four, but I think I like the size six when I have a padded bra on and then the size four when I'm wearing a sports bra. But these are the perfect shirts to wear to the gym and then go run errands in after. They're fast drying and they just make for like a cute outfit. I like to pair them with my vest. I already had this. Um, and this is actually on sale right now for their Black Friday in a ton of different sizes. I get mine in a size six for a more oversized fit. So this is typically an outfit I would wear and then I would pair it with these Uggs. And these Uggs, like the stitching, actually matches perfectly with this shirt. So it's a really, really cute outfit. 
Or you can wear sneakers, obviously, if you're coming from the gym. And it just looks super cute. I don't even know if you can see my shoes, but I do have a video on TikTok of this outfit if you need to see it more up close or you can go to my like to know it i can link it down below so you can actually see it better but they're just at a really good length this is like my new like fave color that's not black white or like tannish i have another really pretty belt bag i don't know if, what one i like more because this one's super pretty too it's um the everwear belt bag large wonder puff and they're almost the same material it's just not a grid pattern it's just lines I think the logo is super pretty on this one. It's just a big logo and it matches the color of the bag. And I like that they're doing a bigger logo. And I don't know, I just think the zippers are nicer compared to my belt bag I've gotten in the past. And the size is definitely better. This one's not adjusted to my size, but I'll squeeze it on. So now I'll just adjust it. That just looks goofy, so hold on. And I like now that they are adding these little elastic pieces to hold down the extra fabric because the older versions don't have that either. Really, really cute. I even like it a lot with this outfit. It gives it a good pop of color. And they do have like black and like other um, staple colors if you don't like the gray or if you already have a gray belt bag. And this one's the same. It has a back pocket. I don't think it's going to fit a phone unless you have a smaller one and the same mesh pockets. The difference in this one is there's no like zipper. They're just mesh pockets on the inside. So no back zipper in the back here like the quilted belt bag one. I do prefer having mesh pockets on one side and a zipper back pocket on the other. So this is them compared side by side. This one's a little larger and boxier. It's hard to pick what one I'd like better. This one has more of like the OG logo on it and this one's different. So I might have to go with this one. This is the Align Mock Neck. Um, I got this in a size six. I used to get them in a size four. All my old ones are in a size four, but I think the six just makes it look more relaxed and looser, not so skin tight on me. It just looks nicer. I wore um, some of these on the holiday and I would just tuck it into like my skirt and it looks really cute that way or you can wear working out or running errands they're in that really comfy aligned material so it's like a very nice shirt to wear and it's in that really pretty riverstone color and this is gonna go with a lot because it's just a really like nice natural neutral color and it's like a very luxe looking shirt like I feel like this looks very expensive and it also goes really good under these cropped vest as well. This is so cute. Next, I'm gonna be trying on the brushed soft stream ribbed zip flare 32.5 inch pants in a size six. I didn't know what size to get in these, so I just went ahead with the six because that's what I am in the other soft stream, but these ones don't have a drawstring, so I don't know if these sixes are gonna work out for me or not. I can't believe they didn't include like a drawstring. Okay, I was wrong because these are a little bit more snug than I expected. Definitely more snug in the thighs. I think I still could use a size 4 in the waist, but I don't think I would fit in the thighs. And I just think they would look just too skin tight. So I think these will work. They'll loosen up a little bit as I wear them. And they do have that zip at the end of the pant to make them wider or more narrow. I feel like this color goes really good with the mustard seed Uggs. Even this is a really cute outfit. I love a good matching set. I probably blend into this wall back here. What do you do? I, I'm not, I'm still learning the whole YouTube game guys, like the lighting, the sound, and all that stuff. So bear with me. One day we'll have it, we'll have it together. If you have any tips, let me know because I need to figure some stuff out still. I feel like these are pretty nice pants. It's very thick up here. There's like a thick elastic band. And not having pockets is kind of throwing me off a little. I don't know, they're very like smooth looking. I'm not sure if they're my favorite pants I've ever tried, but they're cute. I picked up another Super Crops Wonder Puff vest. This one's in a size four. I normally get them in six and I kind of wanted to see what a four would fit like. 
And this is in like more of a rough material than my other ones, but I do really like it. There's a little bit of a shine to it. I think it would have been cuter, more matte. I think this would look really, really good with a black mock neck that I have under it. So the four doesn't feel like tight, but it definitely is more snug. And I don't know if I could fit like a crop sweatshirt under it. Like I can the size six. There's not like a huge size difference. I know it'd be a little bit nicer to see under black, but your girl's lazy and doesn't want to go upstairs and get the black mock neck. But this one is on sale. So if you're wanting it, I would definitely jump on it because they'll probably sell out. This one's just a really pretty neutral color too. And of course, I had to get the matching soft stream half zip to go with these pants. I like that the half zip has a mix of the smooth material and then the ribbed, so it ties in very nicely with the ribbed pants. And I got this in a size 6. You can adjust the drawstring at the bottom to make it tighter. You can crop it up if you'd like and it looks cute that way. Um, or you can have it as loose as it can go for a more relaxed fit. I like to kind of tuck them up and then this is more of a mock neck so it's super cute like this too i'm such a set like a matching set girly you guys will learn that fast about me so i'm always buying the same color and everything um you guys will have to let me know if you're like a matching set person or if you like to mix and match colors I'm a little bit of both but i'm more i think of a set person and i think this would go really good with black leggings and that black vest as well i think that'd be a cute outfit with those uggs i got two fleece jackets i'm glad i got them in two different styles to kind of compare what one i like more i got one in a size six and one in a size four the lighter one in bone will be the size four one i've been wanting one of these like fleece sherpas for so long and I'm glad I finally pulled the trigger. I might only keep one because I wasn't for sure about this bottom so okay put this shirt back on because I think it'll be nicer under the jackets. We'll start with the size 6 one and this material I don't even know what this is like a terry cloth? I don't know but it feels nice but it's not fleece on the inside and this Nomad color actually goes really, really good with this Riverstone. Yeah, I like that a lot. I really, really like this. This looks really, really good. I wasn't a huge fan of this, like, end piece. I don't know what the point of that is. Like, I think it looks nicer without it. But you can, like, cinch it in with the drawstrings and just tuck it up and you're not going to be able to see it anyway. So... That's nice. This is really cute. Really cozy. But I got a size 6. I couldn't imagine a 4 fitting that well. And they have like that Lululemon logo stitched into the sleeve. Let me cinch this up. You can kind of see that it would stay out of the way. Cute. Or you can just have it loose and it be showing. Like I don't, I really don't know what the point of the bottom piece is. But I love that it's a funnel neck and not a hood. I have a love and hate with hoods. Like when it's raining and snowy, you really want one, but other times, like I just feel like the funnel neck is just cozier. And then this bone one, I'm glad they did a silver zipper and not gold. I just don't love like the color of gold they use for zippers. Um, this is that same material. I wonder if like the fleece just gets ruined on the inside if you do fleece and that's why they choose to do this other fabric. Okay, I kind of regret not getting a size 6. Like, I think this would look a little cuter, more oversized. Now that it's on the sales section, I'm not sure that I'll be able to get it in a 6. I'll have to check as soon as I'm done with this because I know this is an item that will go super fast. But I definitely would prefer it in a size 6. Like, I just think it would be cozier. It does have the nice drawstrings. Like, these are pretty chunky. Like, they're kind of cute. Like, it's a big... Lululemon logo. I'm gonna lose the lighting, but I want to show you guys what it looks like because it actually is cute. Like, I love the small detailing on things. It honestly does matter. Yeah, I really, really regret not getting a six. 
I'm kicking myself in the butt because I think this one's cuter. And honestly, with my other puffer vest that I get a size 6 that's more of like the full length would go really good over these to stay extra warm during the fall time. And it looks really good with this rubber stone too. It'd probably look really good with that deep luxe, whatever I did with that shirt. We're going to end on some cozy pieces. These are both men's actually, so I get these in a size medium typically to share with Chase, but I wanted to do a size small because they looked oversized, thinking maybe he would even like the size small better, so we'll see how these fit. I'm just honestly going to put them over my leggings, that's how lazy I'm being. It's almost 5 o'clock and it's getting super dark. But these being men's, they're definitely going to be more on the hips than high-waisted. I like them high-waisted. That's another reason why I wanted to keep the leggings on so you guys could get an idea of like where a typical woman's high-waisted item would be. I could hike them up. I just lose a little length at the bottom. With shoes and slippers, it's fine, but if I was barefoot, then they would look like floods on me, I feel like. But I do really like the material. Like this is my favorite material in the mints that I get my half zips in, the hoodies. Like this is the steady state, yeah, steady state pant size small. I think a medium would have just been too boxy for me. And it does have zipper pockets, which I like. Honestly, this is a cute fit. We'll pretend the black's not here, but these colors together, like, Stunning. And then because I'm a matching set girly, I got this hoodie. Um, typically I get these in a medium. He's not going to be able to wear this one, so he's going to be mad, but I'm actually going to return it for a medium because I even like the mediums better. So I already tried this on. Very short in the arms in a size small and boxier, I feel like. I just feel like it's boxier here. I just lose a lot of the length when I have a small on, so the medium stacks on the arms better and just makes it look like a cozier fit and I don't know it just looks nicer but I got this just to lounge it at home for the most part wearing it as a set but I wear these hoodies all the time like running errands and putting vests over them like these are my go-to hoodies I love like a big block pocket I cannot find hoodies like this anywhere and they have like a lot of like secret hidden pockets on the inside and these are just a very nice material they're not too thick they're like not too thin they're like perfect for in between fall and like winter so i i don't know i just really like this color it's more like tomboy but I like it and i did get the abercrombie viral camel sweatpants that actually look really good with this too so i am just stacking up on all my loungewear it's about to be the season of just staying at home and being cozy so oh shit i gotta do the purse i can't forget about the purse oh wait no i got more pants i got one last pair of pants and then i'm going to show you the bag i should have started off with these because honestly you guys if you made it this far this is probably my favorite item like this is the first time i've tried out the lululemon align hr wide leg pant 35.5 inch they do have a shorter one if you are on the shorter side but this is perfect for me they're in that pretty espresso color and i got them in a size four so let me put them on so i can show you what the height's all about these are probably the most flattering wide leg pants i've tried like these are the lululemon material so you know they're super comfy they have pockets which is amazing i'm gonna try working out in these to see like how good they are they are long on me being five seven without shoes but when I have on like my platform slippers, sneakers, they're perfect. I could maybe get them hemmed an inch, but honestly it's more trouble than what it's worth. But they are so good. Like if there's any wide leg pant you're gonna try, get these ones. Not the mini flares, not the regular flares. Like try these align wide leg pant. They are just so good. You're gonna thank me later. They're so comfy. And I just love how high waisted they are. Like. They hit me at the smallest part of my waist, so that's a plus. Still kicking myself in the butt for not getting a size 6, because this would have been a really cute outfit with espresso. My I have an espresso red shirt, kind of like this one, um, but it's rounded, and it would look so good under this. 
All right, if you made it this far, I'm gonna show you the purse now. Let me take this jacket off. All right, so this is the shoulder bag. Um, I've never seen Lulu come out with a purse like this. I love it, but I just wanna give it away to you guys. On my TikTok though, so I'll link the video down below. You have to go to my TikTok. You have to, uh, I believe I said, like the video and say, tag a friend and say what you're thankful for of them. So I'll have that down below, but it's sold out. So I'm willing to give you this bag because I love you guys so much, but this bag is super nice. It's just a cute little shoulder bag. I really want it. So if it restacks, I'm gonna snag it, but you guys were obsessed with it. So I just feel like I just have to give back and give you an item that I'm truly obsessed with. And it's pretty big, like it's gonna fit a lot of stuff like it's it's a very large bag of course you guys aren't gonna be able to see it. it's just a black hole in there <laughs> there's the mesh lining on one side and a little pocket on the other and then it has a back pocket which my phone does fit in and then two little side pockets and you can adjust the strap so it's definitely very cute praying that it Lulu brings it back because I know a lot of you want to get your hands on it and they decided to do the big metal logo on this one too. So if you want a chance to win it, I'll keep the post running for a few more days. I will announce when I do have a winner and then I'll probably take the post down or I'll just stitch it and say there was a winner. You can even make it really short if you wanted to, which I don't know who would wear it like this, but I guess it's a vibe. But this is the perfect bag, like when you have an leisure outfit on, or just like a bummy outfit and you don't want to do a fancier bag like this is the perfect bag it's in that like gym bag material so it's not too dressy but it's still cute it's gonna make the outfit like who doesn't love a lululemon bag so there she is she is gorgeous and that was everything from today's haul guys i hope you enjoyed it don't forget, I do link everything down below if you're looking for something and if you ever need help, just comment and you'll have to let me know some pieces you loved and that you bought or if you actually got them on sale on like me. I don't know what I was thinking. I should have waited for the sale, but you never know what's going on sale and how fast the items go because I did watch an, a lot of the items go super fast, but there is still some stuff in stock that is on sale. And if you wanna see any other brands, just let me know. Before you guys go, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell. Your guys' support means the world to me. And if you shop any of my links, like it means so much. So thank you in advance and I will see you in the next YouTube video. Mm -hmm.